ever wonder what the world would be like if beluga whales could fly? Or what that would look like? Well, the Airbus Beluga XL is a large transport aircraft based on the Airbus A330-200F, built by Airbus to replace the original Airbus Beluga to move oversized aircraft components such as aircraft wings. And at first glance, if you saw pictures of the Beluga XL on Google or social media, you might think it was just an epic troll and that someone just drew eyes and a mouth on the original Beluga. And if you didn't even know about the very first Beluga, then all of this must be very eye-opening to you. Anyhow, the Beluga XL, also known as the A330-743L, made its first flight in July of 2018 and received its type certification in November of 2019. The Beluga XL then entered service with Airbus in January of 2020. The plane is estimated to be worth around 180 million euros, though you would think it would be worth around a billion or a lot more, though a $180 million price tag isn't chump change. That's because the plane is designed to be a freight and transport cargo plane. Its maximum payload capacity is 50,500 kilograms. The full length of the plane is 63.1 meters long with a wingspan of 60.3 meters and a height of 18.9 meters tall. With 30% more capacity than the original Beluga ST, the Beluga SL can carry two A350 XWB wings instead of just one. Its new fuselage is 6.9 meters longer and 1.7 meters wider than the original Beluga ST, and it can lift a payload of 6 tons heavier than the original Beluga. Its aft section is based on the A330-300, while its forward is based on the A330-200 for center of gravity reasons. And the reinforced floor and structure is derived from the A330-200 freighter. The A330 wings, main landing gear, central and aft fuselage form a semi-built platform with few systems without the aft upper fuselage, while the upper central fuselage is cut off, facilitated by the metal construction. The enlarged freight hold was mounted in three months with 8,000 new parts on the junction line. The unpressurized hold begins with the tail adapted by Spain's Aeronova and continues by building the upper fuselage with two side panels and a crown for each section for a maximum diameter of 8.8 .8 meters. Produced by Stelia Aerospace, its main freight door has 24 latches, and the nose includes the cockpit, while a four-seat courier section is supplied by Airbus. Its vertical stabilizer is 50% larger. It has auxiliary fins on the horizontal stabilizer and two vertical fins beneath the empennage. The Beluga XL operates at Mach 0.69 up to 35,000 feet. As mentioned, the Beluga XL was supposed to be the replacement to the Beluga ST, though the original Beluga STs were not to be withdrawn from service. A mixed fleet was to operate for at least five years, as the increased production rate of single-aisle aircrafts required the ability to move more parts. The Beluga ST fleet flew more than 8,000 hours in 2017, doubled from 2014, but the five Beluga ST aircrafts were only halfway through their planned service life, and another operator could have used them for civil or military logistic applications. The combined Beluga fleet was expected to rise to eight aircrafts when three XLs were to be delivered as the five originals stayed in service before being withdrawn in 2021. The Beluga ST fleet was reaching its limit, flying five times daily and six days per week, 
10,000 hours in 2017, while some parts moved over land, compared with the time required to move the parts of an A320. A Beluga ST requires three times as much time to move the A330 parts and nine times as much for A350 parts. Thus, after the Airbus 350 production increased, Airbus aimed to deliver 880 aircrafts in 2019 and raise A320neo output to 32 per month by 2021. The Beluga XL fleet was expanded with its sixth example in June of 2019. Though the Beluga STs could still have 10 to 20 years flying left in them, they may be offered for sale or used to serve external customers. In 2020, Airbus started operating the first Beluga XL, and it's said that all six freighters are expected to be operating by the end of 2023. Anyhow, that wraps up the video about the Beluga XL and the Beluga STs. If you like this video and you want to watch more videos like it, make sure you check out all my other videos. Don't forget to smash that like button below, subscribe, till next time, catch you in the next one.